Hi folks, this is going to be another five minute video. It's going to be short. Uncle has been busy. Alright, I'm going to have some people over the weekend while we're finding housing for them. So I might not be broadcasting until June 1st. I've been really busy. Uh, we checked my nephew's property. And this year, because of the drought, grazing has been really bad. So we worry about everything else. So I suggested for him, you know, we have land, he has land because Uncle Adam's brain's not working too well. So it's under his name. Uh, what we're going to do is, I already sold in about sporadically about an acre and a half of turnips. Now this is different blends of turnips. Uh, each will generate an irrigated field. And that's for grazing and it's wildlife can graze in it or cows can graze in it. It's a mixture of certain grasses and turnips. Now the nice thing about that is if the cows don't eat it and deer don't eat it, we'll eat the turnips. This is my backup for my three garden systems. The truck farmer or truck gardener. The acre one at my nephew's uh, dairy, which also feeds this family and two other families and a family of workers. It's an acre. Okay, I'm not kidding around. I feed a lot of people. So I take it and then I have my backyard patio garden, which I just screw around with stuff like experiment, uh, figure out new breeds, plant cloning, anything I like to do. And I sit there and drink my coffee. Now it's a cup. Drink my coffee. Have a little snack and enjoy the scenery. Okay, if it was really bad, the backyard would be all, whatchamacallit, uh, raised beds. And right now, if you go to Lowell's, they have a simple system. And I think, uh, uh, who was it? Colette Fry, Tina, of Frank and Tina, did a video on it. And their gardens are uh, growing like crazy. Go over to Lowell's and check out the grow box they have all you need is the the side the force uh four cornerstones which is a cement cornerstone and with a hole in the middle so you can put a short piece of rebar through it and you build how high you want the bed up i do suggest you built it up about a foot to two foot high depending what crops you get it's a real good deal I tell everybody to go over loads and they'll help you out in the garden section. It's more coffee. Uh, not too many things to do today. Okay. I got, uh, let's see. I don't have seven Ohio prepping on this one. Um, uh, let's see. I do have Rayman. Here it is. Rayman prepping. Go we'll check out him tonight. That skills of the channel on Tactical Tuesday. We're going to talk about ropes, knots, and paracord and all sorts of lashing and stuff. You have to understand what you're tying knots into, and you have to understand on certain ropes and paracord. And don't do like Wes S. Try to lift a 75-pound pig with paracord. Doesn't work. Okay, Southern Ohio prepping. He's on one of my boards. I got the boards put away because I'm cleaning the house. So people come over and they spend the next four, three to four days and they don't think Uncle Alan's weird. Of course I'm weird, but I don't want to get it out and like, yeah, Uncle Alan's really weird, you know. I might be eccentric. I might be crazy. But I'm sharp. And again, with all those people making jazz, if you don't know what you're doing on the Bitcoin, go collect silver. Go see Sunny's channel, Sunny's channel, the Underground. Really good on stacking. All right, and I advise people if you do silver, okay, get it in smaller bricks. Do not get it into two or four pound brick. Get it small and get the small. Gold is not big, not the one ounces, the smaller ones. So it could be sewn into your clothing, 
made into jewelry. Like I said, uh, I have a cool little coin clutch and I have disguised coins. Wipe out the paint and there. I'll cash off my silver and I'll cash off my gold. Because nobody ever looks into an old man's coin purse. I'm like, oh yeah, we're going to rob this guy. And this other guy has a wad of 20s. Think about it. But check with Southern Ohio Prepping. Tonight he's having mouse toes and Miss Nina over. And they're going to talk, all talk about canning. It's a real important subject for you first time canners. I tell a lot of people, be very careful when you can. Because a lot of people this summer and this fall is going to expect summer poisoning. It's a cute term. Now I did get a little mail call. I still got things to write. I still have to write that letter. I forgot to write about it. I've been on and off since March. Uh, oh my god, I'm tired. I did get in the mail my moles to make Old Richard. And it's a good deep sized bar too. <laughs> yep. My plans to make a million dollars test kitchen. So I'll have to... Here they come. So I'll catch you later, folks.